Hello there everybody, this is Graham, also known as The Collector 75. Welcome to a Transformers Redo or Redux review. Um, I thought I'd go back and do one of my first sort of ever reviews, really. It wasn't one of my original sort of like, say, Core 10 reviews, for example. But it was definitely one of the first ones I wanted to do. Um, anyway, this is obviously Generation 1 Deluxe Autobot Whirl. I wanted this guy... For so long when I was a kid, I, I, remember, I remember seeing him in the original Generation 1 comics. Um, he was obviously part of the Wreckers and he featured in the, in the story, I believe, Wreck and Rule that was during two, Target 2006. And I remember seeing him. I had no clue who he was, obviously, because obviously this guy was never released in England. And I think I may have seen him on a catalogue that I got from some toy, but I can't remember why, where. But I saw, obviously I realised he was Transformer, but obviously he'd never, never appeared over here. Crying shame, if you want my opinion. Uh, right, so anyway, so obviously he is a helicopter, and I love helicopter formers. I love helicopter formers and tank formers. They're probably my two favourites. Um, with car formers, as long as it's a decent one, probably next. Uh, anyway, so he's a helicopter, and he, I'm not quite exactly sure what helicopter he's based on. Um, I don't know if it's like a Lynx or maybe an Apache. I'm not quite sure, but... I know, obviously, the, the toy design is taken from a, another Japanese show. I can't think of what it is for the life of me right now. Um, but I know, obviously, Hasbro managed to get the copyright, or borrowed it, or whatever, or licensed it to produce a toy. This this was never released in Japan, either, for the reason that it was licensed from a company in Japan, so they couldn't release it in Japan. So anyway, that was a little bit about the history of the toy. Um, Let's just get onto the toy itself, which is absolutely amazing. I love this uh, this uh, vehicle, and I think it is absolutely huge. Um, this is probably, like I said, it was called a deluxe Autobot, but when you think of probably the Autobot cars, this was probably like a Voyager sized. If you think of the deluxe uh, car, like say Sideswipe was a deluxe, this would have been like a Voyager or ultra sized toy. It's absolutely brilliant. I love it. You can imagine this swooping in. Oh, yeah, just brilliant i love this uh when i first got this guy i got this guy i think it was about 1994 something like around then and i got it off a guy unfortunately didn't have no weapons or nothing um i managed then to buy i can't remember did i buy all the weapons or i bought another one of these off ebay about seven or eight years ago that came with all the weapons um uh, and then i got a set of repro labels for this guy and to be honest, it, it, it just the repro labels are brilliant. You cannot fault them on these ones. This and the Roadbuster. Look at that! I love the way you can just spin these. The tail one rotates and everything. You can see the red, the red stickers. So brilliant! Here you go. And if I do them like that. So this guy looks brilliant. I love the missile pod under here, and I love the Gatling gun under there. Absolutely brilliant! I love it. Um, you can open up the cockpit. And in there, you can see a little chair and everything. Uh, whether the original toy came with a little figure that you could put in there, I haven't got a clue. But I know the Transformers version never. So anyway, so let's transform this guy. Because he's got a quite a simple transformation after we use G1. Take the little guns off, and we'll put them to one side. And then all we do now is we just open up the legs like so. Let me just try and get back so we can see what's going on. Just to open him up, he actually just ends up being a bit tall. He's got like ski feet, which is a little bit weird, but you know, it doesn't do him any harm, does it? And obviously, you can see this this joint is a little bit loose. It should, it tabs in okay, but obviously, a bit of a bit of movement and it will just come out. Push the tail section in and then just rotate out the arms from these little joints around here. And then you can, there's a little tab, just I can't get my fingers to it, just there, and it just connects into that one once you push the tail in. And that just connects in and it just firms up nice and easy. Make sure you get the legs all the way out. There we go. And he stands up nice and easy. Let me just adjust my camera slightly. There we go. Uh, right, so once you've done that, you can close up the rotors and then just bring the arms around. Normally, you'll find on all these versions of well, that all these ball joints, because this is one of the only Generation 1 toys to actually have a ball joint, um, and considering how this guy was made in, well, for Transformers anyway, at least 1985, and obviously it was taken from another toy company, so they had the use of ball joints all the way back then, but they never used them. Uh, who knows why? Anyway, let's continue with transforming it. Just pull the arms out, and the hands. 
on both sides. Yeah, so like I was saying, you'll find that these ball joints are nearly all are so loose on every version. All you need to do is you take the screws, I can't remember where they are on this fella, on the arms. There you go, there's, there's a couple there, for example. Just undo the screws, take them apart, put a little bit of nail polish or maybe a little bit of super glue just inside the joint or maybe just over the ball joint. Let it dry before you put it back together, obviously. Otherwise, if you put that back together while it's still wet, you'll just stick fast and then you're fucked. Um, but yeah. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Let's flip up this little aerial that is nearly always missing. There we go, let me just see if I can... He has an amazing head sculpt. There we go, let me just bring it down. I think this head sculpt is probably one of the best ones. It's very Shockwave-esque. I love it. Absolutely really, really brilliant. I love that. The rotor blades do sort of like just hang at the back there, which is um, not much you can do about that. He does come with a few extra weapons in this mode. He comes with this one which will now fit onto the wing pieces just down here and that becomes like a leg cannon and then he goes with this strange gun which will fit over one of his hands you just push that in and then just stick that on like that and he ends up with that and that's it that is well in robot mode um definitely compromised it's a shame Got die cast metal pieces here. You see, you can see almost like the joint where they've molded in. Like if he had a knee joint, that's where it would have been. But it's just obviously just a bit molded on the actual metal there. Shame, because that would have been cool. If they'd have put that an actual knee joint in there, it would have given it a lot more posability than he's actually got. And maybe the old elbow joint as well. That would have gone down because again, as you can see, they just molded it in like he would have had an elbow joint there. Just a shame. Um, a couple of missed opportunities. Um, but still. I actually think this is a great Generation 1 toy. Um, limited in what it is, and you can usually pick them up quite commonly on eBay. They might cost you 20 quid, 30 quid, but if you get a complete one that's in good condition, it might cost you a little bit more, obviously. One thing I did actually just forget, that you can open this cockpit up, and what you're supposed to do, because obviously this is probably taken from a Gundam figure, where a little pilot would have drove this in both modes, is you can then just tilt the seat back, so the little driver would have been the right way up in this mode. And obviously you would have closed this up like that, so you would have sat in there quite happily driving this. But obviously it's a transform, so that didn't happen. And, like I say, you can't fault it. Anyway, this has been Graham, the Collector 75. I hope you like this redo review, um, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.